events of the Israeli drone strike in Khan Yunus. At the time we spoke, Well did not know that his colleague Samer Abu Dhaqa had died. And then all of the sudden, something happened. We can't tell what happened exactly. I only felt that something big happened and I fell. I fell down and I lost my helmet and my microphone. I tried to gather all my forces and I was barely able to stand up. I was feeling dizzy and I was losing my balance. I thought I was expecting the second uh, missile to be launched shortly and I was able to do so, although it was not completely standing with balance. I tried to hide in one of the uh, destroyed houses or at the school or to continue walking because I was bleeding in my shoulder and my arm. So I realized that I will keep bleeding and nobody will be able to reach us where we were. So I tried to press one of the injuries that I had on my arm and I tried to walk slowly. I tried to walk while standing on or using the walls and try to avoid the tunnels as fast as I can. At the end, I was close to the main road. I saw there an ambulance. So I shouted and I tried to wave with my hand so that they can come. But the situation was very challenging and they were not able to reach me where, that, where I was. So I needed to continue walking until I reached the ambulance. And they tried to stop the bleeding at least uh, temporarily. We got in the ambulance. I asked them to go back to where I was because my colleague Samir Abu Dhaka was still there and he was screaming and he was calling for help. I think most of his, he, w he got injured in the lower part of his body. But the paramedics told me that we need to leave immediately and that they will send another ambulance so that we won't be all targeted. We then came here to this hospital, and as you can see, Samer and whatever we were able to record are still there. There are attempts to send a, an ambulance, and the ambulance got shot. There was some kind of a coordination again, but the ambulance of the Red Crescent refused to go back there because the area was very dangerous and they requested an, a vehicle or an ambulance from the Red Cross or the United Nations Agency. But the Red Cross did not move swiftly, which made the life of our colleague Samer and all the others it, this this lack of action or slow action put everyone's life in danger but we are still hopeful we we are hopeful that we will have Samer back with us and wish him a speedy recovery as far as i'm concerned um, this is just a, a first message and i'm trying to gather my thoughts and my force in order to continue what we have started since the first day of the war I expect to be able to start working again tomorrow morning, despite all the wounds. Peace be upon you. See you soon. The words there of Al Jazeera's